In today's video, I'm gonna show you new ways to build with one inch EMT conduit. Let's get into it. Hello everybody, my name is Jake and here at MakerPipe we produce American made parts and accessories that makers use with off the shelf EMT conduit to build all sorts of things from workshop tables to solar panel racks. On the channel, we share weekly videos with build inspiration, tips and tricks, hacks, and creative uses of ordinary materials, all so you can finish your DIY project. If you like seeing videos like that, then definitely consider subscribing. We do really appreciate it. If you don't know already, we have a wide range of half inch and three quarter inch EMT conduit connectors and accessories readily available. Those two sizes of EMT conduit offer a lot of benefits to the builder, but what if you could build bigger and stronger projects just as easily? One inch EMT conduit allows you to build like never before because it's just as easy to work with as half inch or three quarter inch but the strength that it offers is a huge step up over the smaller diameters. A few months back, we put a simple one inch EMT conduit table to the test by loading 1400 pounds of steel on top of it, and we were blown away by the results. All right, that's 1400 pounds. Whenever we launched the one inch EMT conduit T connector, we built a giant movie screen that just simply wouldn't have been possible without the larger diameter conduit and connector. Ever since then, we've been working on new solutions for one inch EMT, and we're adding a few new connectors. Today, I'm happy to introduce you to the 180 degree, 90 degree, four way, and five way connector for one inch EMT conduit. Today, we're gonna to look at the features and benefits that these new connectors have to offer, starting with the 90 degree connector. Behind the T, I would say the 90 is probably the most popular connector. It's commonly used to create rectangles or cubes in projects like desks, shelves, or really anything that has a rectangular or square shape to it. Just like all the other maker pipe connectors, we manufacture these in our shop with American steel. It's made up of two pieces. You have what we call the inside and the outside. Both pieces have a pocket feature that actually holds the nut in place while you tighten the M6 bolt, which means you only need a single five millimeter hex wrench for connector assembly. Because both pieces have the pocket feature, you can put the nut and bolt really in any orientation that you like, but I prefer to have the nut on the inside 90 and have the bolt head visible on the outside 90. This makes it easier if you are working on a desk or something like that and you have a tabletop sitting on top, it's much easier to loosen or tighten the bolts out here than it is to work on the inside and try to loosen or tighten it in this orientation. Once it's fully assembled, it connects three pieces of one inch EMT conduit together. You have one necessary pipe in the center that runs continuously through the connector. And then on the outer ends, you have two terminating pipes that clamp in the connector at a perpendicular 90 degree angle. The 90 degree connector is coated in silver zinc and conduit is galvanized, which means you can build outdoors and not worry about any kind of rust or anything like that. The 90 degree connector adds two and a half inches to the ends of the connected pipes and the through pipe sits an inch and a half inside of the connector. So definitely wanna keep those measurements in mind when figuring out your project dimensions and your conduit lengths. There are two pre-applied friction bands that add extra grip to the connections. If you ever need to replace these, there's some extras on the site that are really inexpensive and you use a heat gun to apply them. If you want your connections to have extra pullout strength, there's a pre-drilled hole in the connector that allow you to drill a number eight half inch self-tapping screw through the connector and into the conduit. Next to look at, we have the 180 degree connector. It's made up of two pieces that are exactly identical and can be used interchangeably. It's also coated in silver zinc, and just like the 90 degree connector, it has some great features. It has the pre-applied friction band for grip, has pre-drilled holes for self-tapping screws, it's made of steel, and it has the nut pocket features for an easy one tool assembly. The 180 degree connector connects three pieces of one inch EMT conduit together like so. Just like the 90 degree connector, the center pipe is necessary and can either run continuously through the connector or stop at the end. The two outer pieces are clamped down and they terminate inside of the connector. Once fully tightened, they are at a parallel 180 degree angle. The 180 degree connector is six inches long. There's three inches of space in between the two terminating pipes. Just like the 90, the center pipe sits an inch and a half inside of the connector. The 180 degree connector is really useful for extending long spans of conduit and reinforcing it. We usually recommend that every four or five feet is a good starting point for conduit reinforcement in projects, and the 180 degree connector allows you to continue your conduit run and support it vertically. Also now available for one inch EMT conduit is the four and five way connector. You may not notice at first glance, but these actually utilize some of the pieces from the 180 and 90 degree connector. This is especially useful if you pick up one of the mixed connector bundles and utilize the included pieces to make four or five way connectors. 
The four-way connector is made up of one of these 180 pieces and two of the inside 90 pieces. You need three nuts and bolts to assemble the connector and they're included. Because these pieces are exactly the same as the ones used in the 180 and 90, they have the same features as we mentioned earlier. Because the back of the connector is made from a 180, there are two pipes that are connected parallel to each other with the center support pipe. The front of the connector allows for an additional pipe that runs at a 90 degree angle from the back connected pieces of conduit. This connector is most commonly used in projects that need the extra support that 180 degree connectors provide with an additional pipe in the front for supporting tables or shelves and things like that. A good example of this is Andrew's aquaponic table. He added a four-way connector every few feet, which adds a vertical support leg, and then his trays can be supported by this front horizontal pipe. Very similar to the four-way is the five-way connector. It uses four of the inside 90 pieces to allow you to connect five pieces of one inch EMT conduit together. It includes four nuts and bolts, and again, you only need a five millimeter hex wrench for assembly. Four pipes are connected at 90 degree angles with one center support pipe running through the middle of the four other pipes. We've seen this connector used in various ways, and most commonly people use it to make grids with reinforcement. You can see an example of this from a teacher named David who built a nine square game for his students. The five-way connector was used to connect four pipes together and provide a vertical support pipe. Another great example of this technique is from William, who recently completed a ceiling rack that he made to support a projector, microphone, and lights in a conference room. Even though these connectors are designed for one-inch EMT conduit, we found there are a lot of other pipes that work with them as well, which means you have tons of possibilities for building. That video will be linked down in the description if you want to check it out. We're going to keep continuing to add connectors and accessories so you can finish your DIY projects. As always, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.